it's a more holistic perspective, uh, recognizing that there is an interconnectedness between humans, animals, and the environment. And without looking at all of these pieces as a whole, we really are not going to be very effective or efficient at solving some of the complex problems we're dealing with today. So traditional medicine, we see something, we diagnose it, we fix it in an individual or in a group of animals, but with ecosystem health approaches, our goal is really to connect that much more to why and where it came from. It's a perfect description of why I do what I do. I, I work for the Grand Portage Band of Chippewa specifically to determine what is going on in our environment and how it might impact either animal health or human health. I study subsistence species that are used by the Grand Portage people for consumption. Those species have to be edible and consumable and non-toxic so that people can live off of them. And, and when those two, two players are healthy, then we sort of have this idea of ecosystem health because we have healthy people, healthy environment, and healthy foods. Well, our work with the Grand Portage Band is really a natural fit because the cultural philosophy parallels the perspectives we maintain in ecosystem health. But there are clearly issues going on here in Grand Portage that really challenge the long-term sustainability of these different wildlife populations. And one would think that that would not be the case in a place like Grand Portage, but it's something we're finding in the work that we're doing. We began by doing moose research, which we continue to this day, because moose are the primary subsistence species for the Grand Portage Band. But we've broadened the scope of that research now to look at chemicals of emerging concern. These are things like pharmaceuticals, personal care products, synthetic hormones, things are, that are in all of our households. And we're trying to understand how they spill over into the environment and how we might be impacted. Issues that we're finding with wildlife populations or the chemicals that we're finding in subsistence species and fish, we feel contributes both to the health of the community, the citizens of Minnesota, and globally as well. When you dedicate time, energy, and funding to that kind of program, you inherently broaden your scope, you broaden the nature of your partnerships, your collaboration, and your science, and you have the opportunity to think in terms of really big impact. This collaboration is vital because the diversity of projects that we're taking on now at the university require expertise in a lot of different disciplines. Here in the Grand Portage Band in the reservation, we simply don't have the capacity in terms of institutional knowledge or intellectual knowledge to really do this broad scale research. These are large complex questions and they're going to take time, but they are absolutely fundamental to understanding not only the health of our environment, but the impacts on us as humans.